So I'm convinced that niggas don't know how to talk to Caspi. Caspi dog walking niggas in the interview. And be seeing anything. How you running something you don't even fully have a full understanding of. Talking about you running it. Fuck out of here, Cass. That's what niggas need to say when he start talking his bullshit, his delusional bullshit. Fuck out of here, Cass. Let me interview you. Because as soon as you start talking that dumb shit, I'm like, fuck out of here, Cass. What the fuck is you talking about? Y'all letting him say anything. First of all, Ars don't gotta violate. He's not gonna violate you. He's going to be aggressive. You're not that. You're not special. You know what I'm saying? You are cast. You legend, and all that. But you're not special. He's not scared of you. The same way you're not scared of him. So, fuck out of here, cast. Ars is still going to be aggressive. Period. He's gonna be in your face. Period. That's it. You don't get, you're not getting no special treatment so my niggas don't look at you. Cat, Ars is going to look at you. He's going to do more than look at you. You're letting him say anything. I'm listening to this shit last night, and I'm like, what the fuck is he, are y'all talking about? Who's that nigga talking about? He's an analyst. And, and Ars don't got bars. Since when Ars don't got bars? Ars is a lyricist. He's aggressive, but y'all y'all are making it seem like he's only aggressive. He's not only aggressive. He has lyricism. Did he not beat Twerk? What are y'all talking about? Like y'all letting him say anything. I get it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all paying homage or whatever, but fuck that. Cass, real real talk. If you don't come, first of all, stop the bullshit with the whole shit that you that you beat goods. That's what you got in your mind when you talking about the real battle rap culture. Fuck wh whatever you call in the real battle rap culture is play play land. Shout out to my nigga um, Pretty Money. You on that battle truth shit. Play play land. It's in your fucking mind. You can't come after however many years of being out and think you're going to rewrite shit. They got you thinking the wrong shit. B. Fuck out of here, yo. Fuck out of here, Cass. That's what I would say to you. Fuck out of here. You're just saying anything. And they, and they jacking it. I'm trying to think of some other shit. I'm just like, what are y'all telling him? Talking about... First of all... Nothing about your personal life regarding AR app or whatever bullshit... You don't have enough battles to think that to think that, that that can't be addressed. Not only can it be addressed, it will be addressed. You're not exempt. You're not fucking special. A nigga can come up with mad creative ways to say the same quote unquote made up content. It's how that person does it. Stop letting it like y'all gotta stop babysitting this nigga. This is why he fucking dropping the ball, cause y'all niggas is babysitting him and shit. Fuck out of here, Cass. Interview with me so I can give you the real deal. Niggas is babysitting you. You're not exempt from nothing. Don't think he not going to bring up. Oh, he probably going to bring. And then this is what I, I'm going to tell you this right now. I did not respect. Come on, Angry Fan, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not my, my favorite, but you've been, uh, you know, you, you've been holding it down. And salute to you for blogging through your, you know. The trials and tribulations, I, I respect all that. But why were y'all sitting going through possible angles that ours could say? What type of time is y'all on even doing that? That was corny, yo. I'm, you know, you could say fuck me, whatever, I don't care, but that was corny. I was not jacking that. You can't say what he can and cannot say. Who the fuck is y'all to say what he can and cannot say? And going through since when is that something that y'all do now? Y'all go through niggas niggas angles? There's mad shit that could be said about Cass. What about the whole Gilly shit? Niggas know Gilly's on your ass and he was just on your ass a couple months ago. That could be brought up. What the fuck is you talking what the fuck is you talking about, Cass? Like you some like you exempt not exempt nigga. We love you for who, for who you are, what you've contributed to the culture thus far, but stop acting like you fucking special, my nigga. 
You in this era of 2019, yo. You can get it. I don't know who... The real battle rap culture did not give you the battle, my nigga. I don't care what you thought, what you saying. Yeah, that's beautiful. You did great at self-promotion. You turned up. You made it about you. You taught niggas a thing or two. Whether they learned anything, it's another story. But I commend you on the marketing tip. But on the battle tip, real, real talk, if we keep it a, if we keep it a buck, after the first round, you stunk it up, my nigga. You stunk it the fuck up. I was loving you in the first round, and you stunk it the fuck up in the second, and you stunk it the fuck up in the third. There's no way in fucking hell you won the battle. So stop saying that dumb shit. This is how, this is how niggas gotta talk to you, because you're fucking bugging the fuck out. And if you do that same dumb shit versus Arsenal, I don't know who that nigga was telling you that if Arsenal's not aggressive, he's gonna automatically lose. Fuck out of here with that dumb shit. Arsenal has never not been aggressive in any battle. What battle? Let me know. Maybe I, I don't, maybe I'm I'm out the loop. What battle has Arsenal not ever been aggressive in? What are y'all talking about? And Arsenal is a lyricist, in my opinion. He's lyrical, not just aggression. Who is that guy that you got in your fan? What are y'all talking about? Y'all letting this nigga say anything. He's dog walking niggas in interviews. Real, all you gotta say is nigga when he starts getting out of line, fuck out of here, Cass. <laughs> and I'm out. Chill.